Welcome to learn task script for Angular development section 7 testing and debugging. Previously we have discovered routing in Angular. We have created the routing configuration, added navigation links and we have learned how to handle that routes. In this section at the beginning I will introduce you into testing then we will then we'll debug our code using DevTools and at the end we will run some tests using Angular CLI. So in this video we are going to focus on tests, unit tests, and end-to-end -end tests. Tests. During application development there is a common practice to make all-time tests. And there we have a unit test. A unit test should test the behavior of a unit of work. For a given input it expects an end result that can be any of the above. Unit tests are isolated and independent of each other. Any given behavior should be specified in one and only one test. The execution order of execution one of tests cannot affect the others. The code is designed to support this independence and unit tests are lightweight tests. Repeatable, fast, consistent, easy to write and read. And with Angular we can use Karma and Jasmine end-to-end -end tests. As applications grow in size and complexity, it becomes unrealistic to rely on manual testing to verify the contrast of new features, catchbacks, and notice regressions. Unit tests are the first line of defense for catching bugs, but sometimes issues come up with integration between components which can't be captured in a unit test. End-to-end -end tests are made to find these problems. So basically end-to-end -end test runs the real application in the browser and simulates user behavior, for instance, clicking, navigating over the pages, and so on. And with Angular, we can use Protractor and Jasmine. 